All right. So I've gotten quite a few machines like this, and they're usually, this actually came from a guy that was scrapping stuff. And you usually get these machines, uh, they're beat up, and they usually have rusty cables. But this one actually looks like it's in pretty nice shape. It's only got one or two little ding marks in it. So I'm going to show you what I use to clean these guys up. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit of work, sometimes it's not so much work. And uh, anyways, here we go. Croil. That stuff's amazing. Uh, I don't know, I've come to use this stuff. Uh, steel wall, and this is a half inch high speed steel uh, uncut lathe bit. Or lathe cutter, as some people call it. Either ways. So what we're going to do, whoa, we got some pressure now, I was outside, so I'm going to douse this thing in croil. And what this will do is that will seep down deep into the rust and hopefully get as much of that off as we can. So this half inch lathe cutter that I have here, I might have to actually sharpen it because it looks like I haven't used it in a while. But I'm just using a sharp, just the edge on here. And first off I'm just going to make sure everything is nice and evenly distributed across every little square centimeter inch of this guy. stuff works. This croil is amazing stuff. If you've never used it, I would uh, suggest picking some up. Alright. So I might have to sharpen this, but we'll see. And I should have uh, something to push anyways. All I do with this stuff, you usually let it sit a little longer, but you end up scraping this stuff. We'll try and do a little spot here and see if we can get. So you got to be careful when you're doing this because if you have a like a super a super sharp uh, cutter here and you go at the wrong angle, you'll actually cut into the steel. But if you can uh, be careful about it, you can just scrape the rust off. So I'm gonna take a break here and I'm gonna actually sharpen this guy up because it got dull. <clears throat> Alright, got to sharpen up here, so make sure you're watching when you do this because if you, you can see, like in some spots, it might start to actually scrape into the metal. I'm going to try and avoid that because that will show up. I'll try and do a, just a little chunk here and we'll see how it turned out. You might have to do this several times because it's uh, this one looks pretty beat up, so not beat up, but pretty rusty. And depending on how rusty it is, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over with more croil and steel wool. And we'll start steel wool on it. And depending on how smooth it is, you know, how smooth it was from the factory, you'll get a pretty nice finish. Like my old Delta 17 inch uh, drill that I did, it worked really well on that one because it had a nice smooth ground finish on it. Uh, but some of these older, less expensive drill presses were milled and yeah, I don't even know if they were sanded or lightly sanded uh, they might have just been milled and then they left a little bit of a rougher finish on there so, so I mean you could take a a wire wheel to this but I don't know I just I'm not a fan of wire wheel and this stuff because doing it this way if you're careful about it you can you know all your milling marks and everything stay on there and all you're doing is taking off the rust and not really taking off anything else. Uh, some wire wheels can get kind of aggressive and you can sand it, but then again, 
figure I like these machine marks in there. I think it it's kind of part of the drill press. So uh, I'll give you a little closer look at that. All right, so there's the product of about a couple minute or two with their work. As you can see, we still have some little bit of rust, like deep inside there, and I did get a few scratches there. You can see my few scratches I got, but um, it ended up. I think this will clean up pretty good. All right, and that's about not even 10 minutes worth of work, and you can see we're we're down to not quite a perfectly uh, shiny surface, but it's it's nice and flat, and we can see all our defects, and you can see all the machine marks, which is nice. Uh, and it might be kind of tough to get those machine marks out of there unless we dipped it in some sort of a chemical, but I'd kind of like to keep this paint on here, so I don't. Not too keen about dunking it in a chemical. Uh, I mean, other than this, this table is in really nice shape. The paint's still decent. Um, so I'll probably do a little more steel walling on this guy, dump it in croil here. We'll let it soak. And we'll come back next time and we'll continue on with something else here. If you like that, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and ask any questions. Feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to help anybody out. So, until next time, stay safe in your machines and shoot safe. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.